Ледом под достойно сквалили сволненного любови места, но кращего друга и учителя радянских изменников Великого Сталина. Ще должны не дожить, Боли жить, а не жаль, Доси не долюбив, И не жив, и не жаль. Ще й дожнив, не дожив, полі жита не жив, досі не долюбив, і не жив, і не жаль, що життя, то хіба твоя судня межа, сменцері жираба, і нехай без ножа, але жити за мало, бороти сумій, щоб нащадок твій смалку бува не знімів, не знімів на вуста, та на вуха не склух, хай помреш, та за нами тут останеться рух. Згинемо, хай, хай ославлені, хай не підам, яку вачор топ хайка наближує даль по роках, по кістках, по обмерзлих гробах, витрамбовує повінь, для речі ще шлях, а дожнив, не дожив, полі жита не жав, замало любив, то їй Богу не жаль, дожнив, не дожив, полі жита не жав, замало любив, то їй Богу не жаль. Ще й дожнив, не дожив, полі жита не жив, досі не долюбив, і не жив, і не жаль, ще й дожнив, не дожив, полі жита не жив, досі не долюбив, і не жив, і не жаль. Hello everyone. <laughs> Добрий день. Palindrom. And we have Vika joining us today. So we stay a little bit for a little talk. Hi Vika. Hi, it's a very beautiful track. Music I like. <laughs> I even don't know the name of this brand. Of the band, yeah, Palindrom. It's called. <laughs> okay, I, I come today to share my story how I moved from Ukraine to the Europe. <laughs> But there is 
there is no Thomas. Um, uh, one day before the war starts, uh, I planned to go to Moscow uh, because a lot of uh, things uh, uh, I bought for my uh, for my friends in Moscow, and uh, I didn't see my friends uh, about five years. Uh, I lived in Moscow ten years before for for Karol. Um, I, I have educated in Moscow from my 18 to 27, like I lived and I worked. And then I come back to Ukraine on 2017. And uh, five years I didn't uh, like see them. And uh, it's very hard friends for me. I was babysitter of their babies, like we are always in touch. And I decide to go. I know that uh, it was very strange political situation that like it's in the border, I maybe cannot go, but I like take risk. I bought a lot of uh, dolls uh, like for children, for their children, a lot of different things and go to prepare my, my um, bag. And in the evening, I have a bus, blah, blah, car. And uh, we go to sleep on 24. And in the night, I um, hear to the fire, like the sound of fire, 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 yeah, fire, firework. And uh, I, I always sleep very deep and hate to wake up if something I hear. And I just thought that maybe uh, I, I have had a thought that like New Year is in the past, was the fireworks. About the party on the our like our, our street, and I continue sleeping. And one my friend he wrote me because the war starts, and I read and continue like close my eyes, continue sleep, and like just analyze and didn't move. And this is bomb. No, continue sounds in in the street. Then I wake up because my aunt came with the cat and she said that is a bridge was, uh, she is afraid that the bridge can be destroyed. That's why she decided to took cat and to come to our flat because if the bridge uh, will be destroyed, she cannot move to our house. And uh, like uh, my parents, no, we just walk in the flat, just the war starts and we didn't understand nothing. In two hours, we go to supermarket to to buy uh, a lot of food, uh, not, not a lot, something for first months. And it was a lot of people in supermarket. Uh, not big panic, but uh, people very quickly try to do something. Uh, I, we come back home. I didn't feel panic. I just I feel that something strange and this sounds and maybe in two days like it's finished. I cannot imagine that it can uh, very long time continue. And uh, my mother starts to prepare, uh, think about what's happened if uh, we cannot go to, to the shop, what we need for the first time. Uh, I Then I come back to room and sleep again. I always sleep when I'm nervous and I continue sleep. And it was the day of the happy birthday of my stepfather. He has happy birthday on 24. And they make uh, like uh, we sit and we drink vodka, not for happy birthdays, just, just to, to, to say him that we celebrate him with his birthday. And uh, we hear the news from Putin that he decided to start this pet operation like and we sit near the table and my stepfather said to me, maybe it's uh, only for two, three months, not more like, uh, and uh, my aunt, her name is Lena. She said, we should move uh, from the flat because she's afraid something can happen with our house. I say, uh, my mother didn't want me to because it's only starts, we don't know to move uh, and uh, I, I called uh, Nastya from Lvov, it's our friend with Marlin and she said, Vika, did you prepare your bag if something happened to go from the flat? And I said, Nastya, you're crazy. I don't want to prepare clothes. I stay at home. With me, everything will be good. And she said, Vika, prepare your clothes, please. You must have this bag. 
to go away. And I didn't prepare, I just sleep. And in the night I heard the sound of bomb and I wake up and go to balcony to the window and I look in the sky very orange like like something burnt in the sky uh, orange big uh, color and I think okay it's not in, in in like in my house it's in the sky so it's the distance and I go to my mother like wake up uh, as I, my mother hears something screaming very strong in the house and then my aunt say, uh, you, uh, there is very bad um, smell of something burned near us in the house. And really the smell was so strong. And I, no, she said, we should go away, we should go away. And uh, we start to prepare to go away. We just uh, go away upstairs because this is lift uh, don't, uh, don't, doesn't work, didn't work. And we go up, not upstairs, downstairs from 11 floor and then we up our head and look that our house is like um, um, he fall the windows uh, broken and everything fall like little bit and I live in the 7a house it's 11 tall house and uh, the house what's uh, near me they are together is seven. I live seven A and this is house who was destroyed at all. It's seven. Just and I... Uh, Vika, just to make it... Vika? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just to make it clear. Um, so you had several buildings. You live in seven A and a bomb exploded into seven. Yes. Next to your building. Yes, but they are uh, together. They don't have distance. Yeah, so there is a bomb that fell into your building. Yes, and my windows were like uh, 100 meters uh, because it's uh, my my windows and uh, the connection of new building is seven. Mm -hmm. is... And uh, no, like it was like you look on something and you don't have nothing to say. It's like nothing to say. We look on this and like, it was only one thought in my head and my mother, everyone said, how it can, how it didn't happen with us. Like we are so close and it didn't happen with us. And it's like a gift. And uh, we, we make circles uh, and look at this house just in silence. Uh, and we didn't go to, to under building to the school because all people go with their cats, with their children under school. And we continue walking in our street. No, and not walking. School walk. means in the shelter. In the shelter, yes. And the, and shelter they, was un, the shelter is underneath a school next to you. Yeah. Okay. Yes, school in front of our house. It was to, it is two schools, there is. And uh, uh, one, I, I saw only one woman in bloody in the ambulance, but I didn't see no one who who was dead. Mm -hmm. Like uh, it's uh, like it's good, it's lucky. And uh, then we two hours was on the street in the night, and we noticed how they uh, no how work our Ukrainian spits. <laughs> It's people who do this burning to take off this burning of the house and do everything. And they said that they didn't want people go inside. But I forgot we have two cats, the cat of my aunt and cat of me. And I, we, we didn't take our cats. And uh, they say, you should uh, go away from the house for some time. Now you cannot go inside. And in three hours, we tried to ask uh, just for cats for 10 minutes, please, to take cat and we go to other place just for only cats. And uh, in three hours, we go upstairs and they give us 15 minutes uh, to, 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 to take everything necessary. I didn't prepare my bagage. I, I, I uh, tried to uh, find my cat, my cat. I didn't find my cat. My aunt, uh, we find her cat. We took some food, some clothes in little bags and go away. Uh, on the car, we go to our friends near the Dnieper. 
they have built and we uh, stay in this build. And the first day it was like, really, you don't understand what to do. Uh, you don't understand uh, what you should do, how uh, to move in the city, how to go for the cat or don't go because like if the neighbor building was burnt near you, everything can happen like because I cannot imagine that it can happen and we sit in this house and next year I tried to I cried because of cat of course I said please help me only with cat I don't need nothing I should save my cat because I really love this, this cat and my aunt helped me with the car to go to the flat and she helped to found him he was very he scared and we took cat and after this moment I didn't cry and we sit uh, in this building uh, I sat in this building one month uh, and I can say only that psychica change in first two three days uh, psychica at no like change at all I, I, I I cannot imagine that I'm dancer, that I have some desires to go to the stage. It's like you understand that you should make very important things. You should call to your father who is in Bucha, in Gastomil. You should call to your grandmother who is in the center and she's alone and she's 80. You should uh, take care of your parents who are near and not make a lot of noise around you like you do you um, cook you do something what you can do in this situation and ever like pray we we make the scotch on our windows and uh, my um, father was in gastomil and in this the first week the gastomil start to destroy the, the russian soldiers occupied bucha gastomil and my father has three ch children, uh, the older Varvara, five, six old Serafim and uh, 17, 18 uh, Masha. And uh, they go to the, this shelter under their house. They have a shelter and they sit two months, uh, oh, two months, two weeks, uh, every day, every night, every day and around them, there was a lot of, I don't know how to say, like the Russian soldiers were around them. I was not in the in Bucha and they didn't have connection. They didn't have light and internet. And I uh, called just, are you, are, you, are you alive? And they just, yes, we are alive. And uh, I don't know the laws of the war. Uh, I just thought that my father can go to the war. And I was like, my father, please don't go away from the building because they can mobilize you to go to the war. It was my the first scare. Can I, can I just ask you, when you, you were afraid that your father might be mobilized yeah. to go to the war, do you think uh, by the Ukrainian army or that he would go out and the Russians take him to go to war with them? No, no, no. I think about to, to fight by Ukrainian. Okay. Yeah to help Ukrainian army. I think Russian just can kill, just not take them. No, um, yeah, in some regions in the East, they uh, take the Ukrainian men who are on the streets and they force them to go with their army to the front. So in Donetsk, people, men don't go out anymore because if they go out just for buying some bread or something, um, people told us that they are taken and sent to the Russian army. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. I thought about Ukrainian, that he he's Ukrainian citizen, like mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. that. And uh, um, uh, sometimes I have a good connection with them and uh, my little brother, they say they cry because he can't sleep every night under the house two weeks, three weeks, and he cry and he went to the bed. And um, then my father didn't take telephone at all. And I just pray, I go on my knees and pray that I know one text to pray for. My grandmother said me and I just pray that my father will be alive because he's in Bucha. And like Bucha is was most uh, point of war. It's first uh, three weeks and um, and then he said to me that uh, he tried to go away and he 
uh, this is uh, green corridor was opened like for two, three days. I didn't remember the data. And uh, they sit with the family in the car and go to the some border from to go from Kiev to Lutsk. They decide to go to Lutsk and uh, they stay a whole day in the crowding of uh, cars who uh, who go to the border and they he come back in the night because he, he, the car didn't move. They stay on one moment. They come back and I ask what you decide to do. He say, I don't know. And in the second day or the third day, he tried to make this one time more and he go away from Kiev with the family to the Lutsk. They come to the Lutsk and after this moment, I will be a little bit uh, better. No, it's not about me story. It's about his, my father, he is hero in this case because he was responsible for three children, one woman and one grandmother, one cat and one dog and everything in one car. And my sister, she said that uh, uh, only windows was broken when they go on the car. Something burned uh, back of the car and the windows uh, from the car go away, but not burned their car. And my father just said me that he watched a lot of dead people near him when he go on the car. He look and uh, in, uh, near him, he look a lot of dead people on the road and children looked this, of course, watched. And, uh, then they moved to the Lutsk. After the Lutsk, they moved to some monastery because they were religious and they live in some monastery. And I continue to live in Kiev. A lot of people go away from our building. It's only 30% of people who stay live in that building that was burned in the first day. And from the uh, place where we, I, we continue to live near the Dnieper, people go away too because there is Damba. You know what is Damba? No. Water damba that damba can destroy if if it was burnt, the water can go because we are near a river and people uh, uh, go away. Like floating, floating, like what the water comes out. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. And uh, uh, like, and I, uh, like, I cannot explain this house. It's very little house, very little. It's uh, and I live in one room with my mother and my stepfather in one room. And uh, in the night, we hear every night uh, bombed. And once we go with mother to smoke at 12 or 11 p.m., I don't remember, I didn't, don't remember. And just, it was under the head that you smoke and something, you know, bomb, is, uh, fly, flight, mm -hmm. uh, not under, cock. Cock. Over, over you. Head, very close to head, like it's very parallel to earth. And then it's, you hear the sound and we cannot imagine like it can uh, drop near you a little bit, uh, no, way, way, way it's drop. And like I say, my mother, like it's go and we hug each other. It's very deep moment for me because the war very changed. Like I hug my mother, I never hug her a lot before the war. And when the bomb we hug and it's burnt in some distance. And uh, like we come back and this night I slept with my parents like a little child because my bed is near the windows. And I hug my mother like I'm, I'm 11, 10 years, seven, I don't know. And when you sit in this little building, I can imagine that it's never stop. Every day is the same. Like we look news, we cook, we eat, we little bit walk to, to the Dnieper, we come back and uh, we listen to this noise of the night and every day is the same, the same. And I started to uh, make acting uh, lessons to, to take, like to study a free acting lessons for people. And I started to make lessons uh, of ballet online to do some activity, just two lessons in a week or three lessons. And you know, if every, every person in the building has his psychological mood. It's not simple like someone go depressive, someone try to take a little bit, not positive, like we are alive, it's good, we are in safe place. And uh, 
I'm artist, I'm dancer, and a lot of people start to write me that Vika, we can help you. Madeline wrote me, other people from Europe, you should move to Europe, like you are 32 and you can do something now in Europe, not sit. And that moment that I sit near my parents, I cannot, couldn't imagine that I move because I even didn't go away from the house to the Kiev. And when we go to the supermarket on the car, I'm super afraid. It was a lot of blog posts. I'm not afraid, like, because of me, I'm afraid of situations that something can happen with my parents on my eyes, that I can see something happen. And, like, because, no, of course, I'm afraid too, but and I don't, didn't understand what I should do in Kyiv. I tried to make, um, to make registration for volunteering work in Kyiv. They didn't answer me. I continue to sit in this building, sit, sit. And then one friend from France uh, uh, wrote me that he can took me uh, from the border, uh, Poland to the, to the Europe, to the France. And I say, because my mother asked me to stay with her, she really say, Vika, it's very strong, uh, difficult moment for us. Can you stay near me? And I stay one week, second, third, fourth week. And uh, then other man who is artist, uh, my friend, he wrote me like, I can uh, help you to go to this border. And I understood that I have possibility to go on one car to the Poland border and on other car to, to Europe. And uh, in one week, my opinion changes Every night I didn't understand should I or shouldn't, should I or shouldn't. And I wrote that yes, I go, no, I go, no, I don't want. And it's it's very difficult. It's really changes, changes. And my grandmother say go, and then she say, I need you in Kyiv. And like I sit and one woman called me in the night to say, Vika, you should go, you should stay alive. She's from Seattle, from Berlin. You must go. And I think she's a little bit influenced because she, she called me in the night, like four, six in the morning. And she said, you must, you must do this. And uh, the man come in the morning, I sit in the car and we go. And uh, we go through a lot of blog posts, blog posts. And it was the day when everyone should stay at home. And we go, go, go. He uh, make some help, support for Ukraine people. And he took medicaments uh, to the border. Uh, and we took some medicaments, some food, some clothes and go with him to the border. And in one city, in Ukrainian city, I didn't remember this little bit uh, when we leave the Kiev, I think. The blog posts in the night said us that we must not move. We should stay because uh, now the moment when all people sit in the houses and we couldn't, uh, uh, we cannot move on the car. And uh, one man helped us with the password that we have. We should uh, tell them password because the password now people who can move. And it was uh, the moment when- password? The Like you must know a password. To, yes, to go from uh, in the blog posts to go. Okay, between. and how how do you know about this password? I don't know. It's the group with whom I was, the people, uh, the someone from the group. Okay. He called, uh, and it was I was very lucky because in other case we come back and we can sleep uh, in the field or in the school, and it is a night. And uh, we go through this border, and then I come to the Poland border. I stay in the crowd of people about nine hours. And uh, only in this moment, I feel that I relax, not relax at all, like the time uh, leave the Ukraine, and I start to cry. And it's not crying, it's something like, uh, I stay like about one hour like this and cannot stop my psychical, everything, this whole energy for this month to take off. And uh, around was people, little children, and I thought we could stop, it's so much children that you cried like a child. And uh, they wait, uh, people on the border of Poland wait me about nine hours, and near me was the man who, 
uh, works with very old mom. She is about 80 years and she always sit on the table and he moved he moved table with her um, during this crowding. And uh, when we go to the moment to take to took our passports, uh, they say, no, you cannot go with her because you are men. And she said, but she's she's very ill. She's 80 and she's super ill. And uh, the people on the Poland border said that, no, you must have a medical document that you are responsible of her. That's why you can uh, you can you should go to the Europe with her because you are the person who take care of her and it should be like very legal document. And this man with 80 years mom, they come back. And when I look at him that they say you cannot go from the country, it was like it was shocked, like because she needs help, she is ill. And uh, some people who cannot go and worse come back. For, no, for me it was like shit because nine hours on the leg in the like deep, not night, it's evening, whole day, and you, they cannot continue. They should come back to the wall. And my friends wait for me in the car, and then we go to the Poland. I have one night in the hotel in Poland. Then we go through Europe to. Germany, I think, and I have one night in Germany or Brussels, I, I, in, in Belgium, in Belgium, one night in hotel, and then directly to France. And uh, my friendship kept keep me to the family, to the house that opened doors for me to stay in France for some time. And in the first week, I made documents that I can be in France for six months. That's the end. Then the story starts that I. That you. <laughs> She's still connected. Vika. That was <laughs> that was a, a, a very strong ending, <laughs> but she's still here online on Zoom. Vika, we lost you. Your mic is still on. Do you hear us? Now oh, she's off. but she came to the end of the story. Uh, and it starts raining again. <laughs> Maybe we say goodbye for now. And thank you, Vika, for sharing this story, which was very human. Be safe, have a good day. Bye.